how did we decide uh, we wanted to start for babies? Yeah. I just want the baby to be here and that I can also do my part. What will be the hardest part? <laughs> He's looking at me, it's going to be hard for you as well. <laughs> I'm giving birth today. Are you sure what you have to do? I have to work tomorrow, so... <laughs> 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 you just leave everything to me, okay, <laughs> it's clear. My main job is a process operator in uh, chemicals. But me as a dad, I don't, I don't know those things, so there's a different connection. The only thing he can do right now is pay, <laughs> <laughs> pay half <laughs> for everything we buy for baby. That's the only thing he can do. And he can yeah. feed me and stuff, but um, yeah. Hi YouTube, thank you for watching this video. My name is Doreen, this is my boyfriend Jonathan and we are having our first baby. So we are first time parents and we asked you some questions on Instagram so we are going to do a Q&A, a, a couples Q&A today where did we meet? so we met at college, we both studied psychology um, and we were like in the same friend group um, but he was dating someone else at first so we were just friends and after a couple of months when he broke up with that girl we started flirting and that's how we got together. We actually first started as friends with benefits, but after a month we went shopping together, we went on weekends, so we were actually a couple, but we just called ourselves friends with benefits. So we quickly became a couple after that. So yeah, that's how it went. <laughs> Was it love at first sight? Was it love at first sight? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, well. Like the first impression of me that he had was like we were in the same group uh, in class and we needed to introduce ourselves and I was so red, like I was so <laughs> shy. <laughs> and that was obviously the first thing he remembers about me that I was so, so shy. Um, and my first impression of him, yeah. he was like the bad boy because he came in with like the Me, army. The bad boy. <laughs> he was, re yeah, yeah, yeah. He came in with like the army, um, how do you call it? The army name tags uh, yeah. that, uh, that soldiers the dog wear. Dog. dog tag, yeah. He was wearing like a, a, a pants a little bit too low on his hips, and um, yeah, he was like like the cool boy um <laughs> so i i was like yeah oh my god who do does he think he is like that was my first impression of him how long are we together um we are now together for almost uh, six years in february it will be six years um how long do we live together um we live together uh, four years and a half yeah four years because we started living together after one year and a half in an apartment in antwerp city yeah. um how many children do we want um we want two children for sure and then maybe a third one but we we'll, will see. we'll see about that so i think after two babies i definitely want two babies but I think I want to be pregnant a third time, but we will see how the first two go. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um, this is a question only for him. How fast goes time for dad? For moms, they say it goes pretty slow pregnancy, but how is it for you, like for the dad? Um, it actually goes pretty uh, slow for me too. <laughs> Because now we're seven months, you're seven months yeah. now, and she notices things about the baby that she's moving and what she's doing and that she's growing. But me as a dad, I don't, I don't know those things. So there's a different connection that I want to, yeah, 
I don't know how to say it, but I, feel I just want to, I just want the baby to be here and that I can also do my part that I also can hold her and raise her and yeah that we're we're also building a connection so mm -hmm. yeah I really understand I even think time goes slower even slower for the dad and for the mom because I can feel things I can feel her kick I already am bonding with her in a way because I put my hand on it when I feel her the only thing he can do right now is pay <laughs> pay off for everything we buy for baby that's the only thing he can do and he can yeah. feed me and stuff but um, yeah how did we decide uh, we wanted to start for baby we actually started thinking about babies um, when we moved here yeah when we moved in the house because we both have our jobs everything is there just to, to start with it and we both wanted to be young parents so i'm 24 she's 23 when the baby is here i'm 25 you're 24 so then we're, we're pretty young parents i was the first one who really brought it up um because he wasn't really thinking about it yet and i was like already searching youtube videos about babies um, so I think when we started living here, I brought it up to him, but I was already thinking about it when we still lived in Antwerp. Because I stopped the pill when we were still living in Antwerp. So mm -hmm. we, we, we already bought this house, but we still lived there. Financially stable, I think that's the most important thing. Um, are you sure about the baby name? Yes, we are. What do you think will be the hardest part of having a baby? What will be the hardest part? <laughs> He's looking at me, it's going to be hard for you <laughs> as well. Um, I think like sacrificing everything for the baby because obviously like you can't be selfish at all when you have a baby. Like all your attention, all your time is going to that baby which is obviously normal and I'm totally ready for that but I think like giving up the sleep part and like like the yeah the combination of work and the baby it's just going to be a whole another thing that we are not used to so I think that's going to be the hardest part for me I think the hardest part will be when <laughs> she's like 14 15 years old and uh, she wants to go out, she wants to have a boyfriend and date someone. No way, man! <laughs> if she wants to go out, you, you can't always be there, you can't control those things. So I think that will um, be harder. Mm -hmm. Maybe for she's me. watching this right now when she's like 14. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. girl, <laughs> this was really early said by your dad, so be nice. Yeah. And when you go out, I will be there, but you won't see me. <laughs> Paparazzi. And if you leave the club alone, you won't go out anymore. So, okay. <laughs> Where do we see ourselves in five years? In five years. I'll be driving a BMW X6 M package. Um, we'll be living in a larger house. With a big driving way, big garden, where the kids can play. In five years. In five years. We only live here for two years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's... I actually really like living here, so I'm not really thinking about moving yet. I know this is not our forever home, but maybe in ten years or something, for me. But yeah, mm. we'll see. Um, for me, in five years, I just want all my kids to be here. Because in five years I will be um, 28 years old, almost 29, and I don't want to be like I don't want to have a little baby when I'm around 30 years old. I just I, I want them all before I'm 30. Um, so that's my biggest goal actually, just having two or three children, and also being able to keep on working on my businesses especially booty tools I want to grow booty tools um, but 
yeah, we will see. And obviously I want my pre-pregnancy body back. But I think that will work in five years. No. <laughs> so. A life goal of mine is that I'll be... Um, Verhuren? Renting, Renting out? Renting out. He Renting wants, out yeah. an apartment before my 30s. I always said before my 30s I want to rent out an apartment. Um, so that's a goal. And I will definitely be the best dad in the world. <laughs> okay. so. He already knows that. <laughs> so. Okay. Are you scared uncertain. or uncertain about raising a child? I am because there's no book, no video in the world that can prepare you for a newborn or just a toddler. I have no idea how to raise a baby, a child, but I think like all the moms all over the world can do it. So we can do it as well. No, oh, um, but we have everything together, so... Yeah. We have a good family, nice place, so... Yeah. A nice neighborhood to grow up, so... Nothing to be afraid of. No. But, but do you know, are you sure, like, what to do with the newborn? So, I'm giving birth today, are you sure what you have to do? I have to work tomorrow, so... <laughs> you just leave everything to me, okay. It's <laughs> clear. Are we going to the gym together after birth? Or will you be able to go together? I don't think so. Not for the first months, years, yeah. I don't know. The first month. I think when she starts going to her grandparents and to stay there a whole, a whole day or to the crash, we want her to go to the crash um, two Same times crash, crash um, daycare. Yeah, we want daycare. her to go to the daycare <laughs> two <laughs> days a week um, and maybe we can go together then, but we don't really train together. So we just go there and we each do our own workout. So I don't really mind that much um how would you describe the feeling of being pregnant yeah how would you <laughs> well um yeah very nice um you can eat whatever you want no one notices that you do that so i don't eat everything i want <laughs> no no i eat healthier than him uh yeah currently you do i do yeah so how does it feel um i don't know it's the best thing ever like this is my favorite year so far of my life I think no I really love being pregnant and especially after like the 17 week mark when you can start feeling the movements that's like the best part and I know he's a little bit jealous of me because I can feel her inside and he can Aww. but um, how do I describe it you I don't feel different if you want to know, why don't you get pregnant? <clears throat> that were all my questions. He also had some questions. Some were like a little bit the same. So we are not going to like ask them again. But some questions were specifically for him, for his job. And <laughs> my colleague, uh, she asked me um, what will be the name of the baby. Sorry, not sorry, but I won't tell you. So you'll have to wait. Um, which series on Netflix are important for you guys? Because she told a friend of her that the name of the baby um, is in a series on Netflix. We're not gonna tell that. Um, a question of our neighbor. Uh, would, you would you like to be me? Yes, Thibault. I would love to be you. <laughs> Um, not a question, you're gonna be a uh, great parent, you can be proud of it. Um, how do you train during the lockdown? Are you doing bodyweight exercises? Fuck no. <laughs> He's um, not training. I'm not training currently. Um, I'm putting this time in other things. Mm. Um, what's your opinion about Herbalife? Not even answering the question. Um, is photography your main job? No, it's not. It's my second job. 
He uh, works in um, chemicals. Work, my my main job is a process operator in uh, chemicals. So. But when he has weekend, he still works a lot. So, as a photographer, as a handyman, like he's almost working every day of the year, basically. But not today. Today not we are today. going shopping. Yeah. So actually, uh, the other questions were by far the same as, as yours, actually. So. Yeah. So this was our couples q and I hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little bit more about us. If you have other questions, please drop them down below. I will just answer them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we see you later. Bye. And it is. <laughs>